Pragerberg students access most of their class notes and learning materials directly from SunLearn, the faculty's digital content site or other cloud-based storage like Google Drive, and print them on Safecom printers. Over 20,000 pages a day are printed on the Gerge and Medical Library printers and we get a number of complaints from students that some documents are not printing out properly, are causing the printers to crash and print out error pages or print very, very slowly. Students lose printing credits when they try to print out these documents and often have to receive refunds. For instance, to print out a 50-page double-sided black and white document costs 41 Rand. The same document in color will cost 267 Rand. In the majority of cases, the problem documents are Adobe PDF files. The original documents were created in programs like Microsoft Word or PowerPoint 2016 and then using the export function exported to a PDF file. We have found that the export to PDF function sometimes creates PDFs that cause problems when printed on Safecom printers. This quick tutorial will show you a few tips that will help you to create compliant documents and to prevent corrupted and problematic PDFs. Microsoft Word has a lot of functionality to create consistent looking documents using styles. Instead of using the normal style to make fonts bigger and bolder for instance, use the styles that Word provides. For the title of your document, use the Heading 1 style and then Heading 2 for major sections. If you change the formatting of a particular style, it will change the formatting for all the text that uses that style which makes changes very quick. Microsoft Word can also create lists. It can provide bulleted lists or numbered lists which makes reading and studying far easier. Do not use tables in a document just to help with formatting or layout. Keep tables as simple as possible. In many cases, complex or hidden tables cause problems in the exported PDFs and then printed on the Safecom printers. Here are some examples. Avoid using transparency effects on tables and graphics, such as drop shadows or subtle background tone effects as these will not print out correctly. When inserting graphics from sources on the internet, do not insert them directly from the web page. This will create a link to that web page and will cause a problem if the internet is not accessible. Rather, copy the image to your computer directly and then insert the graphic from there. Rescale images, keeping the aspect ratio intact. When a graphic is stretched in one dimension, then the PDF will display incorrectly on some devices, and printed images will degrade and be distorted. If you use specialized fonts for mathematical formulas or chemistry symbols in your document, always ensure that you save your original Word or PowerPoint document with the fonts embedded. Once fonts are embedded in the original document, you can then export them to a PDF file. When exporting to a PDF file, ensure that under the Options settings, the ISO 19005-A compliant in brackets PDFA option is ticked. This will create a compliant PDF that can be viewed in any PDF viewer, including Chrome and Firefox's built-in PDF viewers, and will print correctly on a Safecom printer. Finally, the university has a license agreement with Adobe allowing the Adobe Acrobat DC Pro program to be installed on university-owned computers. Adobe Acrobat DC Pro has built-in tools to help you create and optimize PDFs that will print out correctly on Safecom. These tools include PDF Standards, Optimize PDF and Print Production. 
all of which can be used to create compliant PDFs. You can contact the IT Help Desk to ask about getting an Adobe Acrobat DC Pro license for producing documents that will not cause printing problems on Safeway. Thank you.